My name is Lisa Gerard, and I'm the founder of Grace Up. Well, a lot of people ask me why Haiti, why I chose Haiti, and I tell them that Haiti actually chose me um, because I was at church one Sunday and our pastor asked us to pray about um, what breaks God's heart. So pray for Him to break our heart for what breaks His heart. And that was really the beginning of wanting to get involved with something. In February of 2018, I was planning my first trip. And thinking about Haiti, really the images that come to mind are what you see on the news. Um, tires burning in the streets, uh, a lot of violence, political unrest, um, extreme poverty. You know, all of those images flashed in my mind. But as we got closer to the ground, I could see, I could see the poverty. The first children that I came into contact with um, was right after church on that Sunday. We got in late Saturday night, and after church, I meet a deacon, and he was maybe the second child I, I came in contact with. And I asked her if she wanted to buy one of the bracelets, and she told me, Why, what do I need the money for? And I told her I needed to pay for my English class. We had this conversation. That's when we met. I met her, and since that day, I never stopped coming at her because I feel like God sent her to be an answer for all of my dreams. In Haiti, there's many things that need to be taken care of and make a better place um, for the children to live in all that. After 10 to 12 visits, I knew that it was the right time to bring him to the U.S. I just felt like after developing this relationship with this boy who I then considered my son early on, so I applied to a local school here and he was accepted. For a kid like Deacon, who reminds me every day with his excellent grades, he's a straight A student, that there are brilliant, brilliant children in third world countries who just don't have the opportunities that our kids in the U.S. have. So we want to get them past this idea that they just need to survive day to day but to be able to recognize that they have opportunities that can really make their lives um, so much more improved and, and, and more than what they could have imagined if they didn't have that kind of support. My dream is to keep working hard and learn something and make good out of it in Haiti. Changing the life of others in Haiti that needed help like I needed when I was in Haiti because I know what is it like to live there and what are the consequences you might get if you don't go to school and don't know anything. I would say that Deacon was the catalyst in developing a love for Haiti. I think that I always knew that I wanted to do something on my own and so after 21 trips to Haiti I have realized that as much as I thought that Haiti needed me and my help, um, I realized that I really needed Haiti. Loving is doing so much more than meeting just basic needs. It's giving kids like Deacon the opportunity to really flourish.